just wanted to briefly touch upon your uh, your NBA record for most threes uh, in a quarter. Uh, it was really remarkable when you scored eight threes in a quarter. It was uh, against the Houston Rockets team back in 2002, I believe. Um, later, the record was broken by Clay Thompson. I think he scored nine, but nevertheless, uh, it's a phenomenal record. Do you remember that game, and what was that? What was that feeling like? Yeah, if I can have anybody break it, it would be Clay. Uh, mm. Clay uh, and, and Steph are are phenomenal. I saw them maybe a, a year or two later after he broke the record and uh, in Milwaukee, and we hugged each other and um, they paid homage. But I, I love them and I love their, their ability to shoot the basketball. You know, I do remember that night. That night was incredible. It, was, it happened by accident, um, you know, in my eyes. But when you prepare uh, and work hard, um, things begin to happen for you, right? So for me, I only played in that game a few minutes in the first quarter. I made one three and went back to the bench and then played again to the fourth quarter. Mm. So uh, it, it, was a, it was nine threes altogether in that game, but eight of them came in the fourth quarter. And so uh, I just hit my first two, first one, and first two, and then the coach kept calling my number and my teammates kept finding me and looking for me. Um, which was which was unique because I came into the NBA not as a shooter but as a scorer, and even my whole career I was a scorer that could shoot the basketball. Uh, I had to work at it, and uh, so uh, people at home from college were like, "You got the NBA record for threes? <laughs> you're a slasher, yeah, yeah. You're you're, you're a scorer, you're a slasher, you're get to the rim guy, mid range to your point earlier." Um, but so I surprised myself um, that night, but I never, I'll never forget it. It was an incredible feeling, especially not having played for two other quarters. I played in the first quarter and then played again to the fourth mm -hmm. quarter. Mm -hmm. And uh, coming to the NBA, what was kind of the, 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 where did you, where did your game have to evolve the most? Was it shooting? Because now that you mentioned you were a slasher in, in college and was it perhaps, you know, Ray Allen, somebody who mentored you in that direction? Yeah, well, you mentioned some of the guys on that team, Sam Cassell, Glenn Robinson, Big Dog Robinson. You had Tim Thomas at that time. You had Lindsey Hunter, who was a great shooter himself, Ray Allen. Mm -hmm. So the team was full of great shooters. And so in order for me to make the team, I had yes. to adapt my game. Yeah, and so i never forget George Carl um, saying to me, are you a shooting guard? And I said, yes, sir. He said, shooting guards, shoot. You know, <laughs> they can shoot. So... At that time, you had pronounced positions. You had point guard, shooting guard, you know, small forward, and power forward, and center. And now today, you don't have that at all. Totally um, this is this basketball. Yeah. So, but it was it was an interesting time, and I had to adapt my game to the culture of the team, which was a perimeter oriented team. Mm -hmm. And and now that you know you you mentioned uh, threes and shooting so much, you attempted. Uh, I think your career average for three-point attempts is somewhere around four to five, maybe like 4.4 per game, three-point wow. attempts. Uh, compared to, for example, Curry, who's shooting 11, 11 and a half this season, or yeah. uh, I think James, James Harden had like 13 attempts two years ago. How mm -hmm. many points would you average in today's game? Oh, I think my high was close to 27 uh, when I did play. Um, I think it would be more because I would shoot more threes mm -hmm. for sure, uh, to your point. Uh, I don't know how much more, um, but but I think it would be more. Um, the game is so different now. I was talking to Steve Kerr about this a couple of years ago, and he said you would have thrived in this culture of three-point shooting. Um, and, and when I played, it was just, okay, if you miss one, you may have another chance to shoot another one. If you miss the second one, no more threes for the night. You're right. So um, there was more accountability on, on, on shot selection. But nowadays, the range is, is unlimited for these guys shooting so deep and so far. And, you know, now you got analytics, you know, where you can't shoot a mid-range shot. It's either a layup or a three um, mentality now. So, you know, shooting an extra five to six more threes in a game. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know where my scoring average would have been. I think it would have been more for sure. I appreciate analytics. Uh, I do. Uh, the game of basketball is intuitive. So if I have you beat at a certain position, no matter where it is on the court, then I must take advantage of the situation more so than thinking, 
Like I got you beat here for this mid-range shot, but I got to step back three more steps to get a three-point shot compared to a two. And so that dynamic of an, an intuition, mm -hmm. um, I hope never gets lost within the game.